Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new video on the Freedom Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your chats to your Twitch or YouTube streams. So there's two ways you can do it as always, like our last video. You can do stream maps or stream elements. With stream maps, uh, it's pretty basic and very easy. So as you've got everything here set, you can see this here, copy wedge. Make sure you're on chat box here. And you can copy this. And then if we go over here, we open up the browser. Let's put chat box. And if we just paste that, we'll have that there. So as you can see over here, we'll have a chat box here. So as you can see there, you've got your test and you can really manipulate it the easiest way you can do. So this is for people who are wanting to do new streaming and stuff. So this may be like very basic, but it helps the little ones. You can do a lot with Streamlabs. So there's my uh, test I put down there. And as you can see, it's all there. And you can even do stuff, which is pretty cool. Such as like make a kind of small box and have a little chat bit on the side. You can even have it delayed. Here we go. Your chat's delayed. Now we're going to go on to stream elements and this is how you do it through stream elements. So over here, we've got your dashboard for stream elements down to stream tools. You go to overlays. So here we've got a nice blank canvas here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a widget over here at stream tools, your streams chat. And we're going to bring that in the middle there for now. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So you can do it any way you can. We should delay by two seconds. We're going to put that to zero. We want message permanently. So we can do different sizes of the letters as well. You can also have like a nice little comedy feel to your texts. And then when you're done with that, all you need to do is go to copy overlay URL. But make sure you save it first and just say my chat. So we're going to save that there. We're going to copy URL there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this chat bot for Streamlabs. And then we're going to find Bowser again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this away. And then we're going to paste it there. Okay. As you can see, we've got a new little box there in which I may actually move to this bit here. So there is your chat bot. And then if we do test, you can see it's there. Now, if you don't like that little black bit here, you can always make it fading. And you can also take the teams to check a chat, custom. So then if you want it invisible, there you go. You can also change the color. As you can see there, it doesn't see that very well. We're going to change that to a big, nice white one. Yeah, let's let's just have, yeah, you can have any color here. So, so all we're going to do is we're going to click that. And as you can see, you can see the different types of colors. We're going to get a nice flashy one for now. So do you get an idea? And as you can see there, it's a lot bigger. But yeah, you can do your own sizes and yeah, change the colors all the way how it is. Um, personally, out of all the stream elements of Streamlabs, surprisingly, I feel like Streamlabs is a lot better for your bot chat. But if you want to get creative and try and do much more, I think stream elements is the way. But I hope you enjoyed this small little video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. There'll be more small guides on everything else. So stay tuned to that.